Yesterday, Mr Speaker, I met some workers from Sports Direct who were coming to Parliament to give evidence to the Select Committee about the shocking behaviour of that company. Non-payment of the minimum wage, a culture of intimidation and fear on top of the insecurity and exploitation of zero-hours contracts. Philip wrote to me this week on this issue and concerned about it and said, the scandalous scourge of zero-hours contracts which is blighting the lives of many already low-paid people. So will the Prime Minister do what some other European countries have done and ban exploitative zero-hours contracts here? On the issue of um, Sports Direct and the appalling practice of not paying the minimum wage, I absolutely abhor it, and this government has done more than any previous government to crack down on the non-payment. On the issue of uh, zero-hours contracts, we legislated in the last Parliament to stop exclusive zero-hours contracts, but we followed the conclusions of our um, consultation that said that we shouldn't go further than that. The case of Sports Direct shows that Mike Ashley certainly isn't a Father Christmas. Indeed, he'd make Scrooge look like a good employer. <laughs> but and I think we should commend Unite the Union and its members for exposing what went on. And it shows that we must strengthen, not weaken, workers' rights, particularly where there's criminal activities involved. But his government's employment minister, the Honourable Member for Whittam, said that if we leave Europe, we could just halve the burdens of the European Union social and employment legislation. So perhaps the Prime Minister could help us. If it is a modern, compassionate, conservative government, as he describes it, why, why does it have an employment minister who wants to reduce the burdens, as she describes them, of employment legislation and make work less secure? Mr Speaker, what I do celebrate is the work done by trade unions all across Europe that persuaded the European Union to bring in four weeks paid holiday, laws against sex discrimination, rights for part-time workers, rights for agency workers. The Labour position is that we want to stay in the European Union to improve workers' rights, tackle exploitation, drive down tax evasion and tax avoidance. But we are concerned that uh, these issues are not the priorities of members of his government and his party, such as the member for Uxbridge, the member for Surrey Heath and the member for Whittam. They are speaking to try and destroy any of the social advances made within the European Union. And if they speak for themselves, how are they ministers at the same time?